Developing right now, thousands of Hawaiian residents are escaping Maui as fierce winds fuel deadly wildfires on the island. At least 36 people have been killed. Now Portsmouth based Mercy Chefs are deploying to the wildfires. They'll provide food and supplies to responders on the ground in Hawaii. Close to 100 Maui firefighters have been on duty around the clock and officials fear there could be more deaths. Melissa Don brings us the latest from the disaster site. Everything's gone. The widespread devastation from the deadly wildfires in Maui continues today. Oh my God. As at least three wildfires are still burning out of control. The wind whipped infernos moving fast across the island. Nearly 300 structures destroyed, including Amanda Cassidy's home and both of her places Burned of down. work. Most of Lahaina is gone. Thousands evacuating like Claire Kent. There's guys riding around on, on bicycles and mopeds just screaming down the streets like you got to go. You were dodging branches and just things flying through the air. There are reports of more than a dozen people jumping into the ocean at Lahaina Harbor to escape the flames. The historic town that was the original capital of the Hawaiian kingdom and home to 12,000 people now destroyed. Aerial show the widespread damage, cherished landmarks incinerated. Families separated. Steve Scott says he's still searching for his wife. I, I'm, I think she's safe, but I haven't found her yet. Meanwhile, the death toll rose dramatically overnight. Authorities confirming more than 30 deaths so far. We do fear that there may be additional casualties. We're hoping for the best, but we're prepared for the worst. Evacuation efforts difficult. With only one road in and one way out, tourists are trying to get back home to safety. The drive normally takes 45 minutes, took us over three hours. Many people now stranded at Maui Airport. Families rushed here to the airport only to find out their flights had been canceled. So now they're quite literally stranded camping out. Some told by airlines they may have to wait days before a flight becomes available. Hawaii's governor, who was out of state on vacation, has since returned and has plans to visit western Maui and see those ravaged parts and also visit with residents who went through the unthinkable. Melissa Don, ABC News, Maui.